with all the latest in news, sports, and entertainment. You're watching the Boone TV Buzz, Iowa's most watched high school news show. Hello Boone, hi, and welcome back to the Boone TV Buzz. Another week has come to an end, and we are here to share with you all the latest in news, sports, and entertainment. Let's take a look at what has BHS buzzing. On Wednesday, April 18th, BHS art students traveled to Carlisle to compete in the Raccoon River Conference Art Festival. Boone TV's reporter Catherine Poller has more on this event. On Wednesday, April 18th, some of Boone High's art students traveled to Carlisle to show off some of their art projects that they've been working on throughout the year. Out of the eight schools in Boone's conference, they placed third. Ten of the events that Boone entered placed in the top three. Mrs. Motch and Mrs. Pomerink are Boone's two art teachers who both travel to the competition and value art classes extremely. So I think art is important for everyone to experience so they can bring that within their own career outside of the classroom. Art is important. Um, it, it uses the other side of the brain than what science or math does and helps to make students well-rounded. And we have art all around us in our world um, and have since the beginning of time. So it gives students a chance to um, explore different things, work their creativity, um, think outside the box. Many students participated in this chance to show off their hard work, including Riley Patterson. I think that they're important because they allow students to express themselves in other ways than just the standard school subjects. All of the winner's art will be shown off during the Fine Arts Festival in the choir room from 6 to 7.30, along with all of the other spring art students' work. Be sure to stop by Tuesday night and check out the art and listen to the choir, orchestra, and band. This has been Katherine Pollard from Boone TV. On Wednesday, May 16th, BHS hosted the annual Senior Awards Assembly. Boone TV's reporter Kathleen Poller has more on this event. On Wednesday, May 16th, Boone High hosted an award ceremony to honor seniors receiving awards or scholarships for their post-secondary education. The Putney Awards for Math and Science were the first awards presented at the ceremony. Chad Houston then recognized Franklin Stanfield and Jake Gorley for beginning an apprenticeship. The BHS alumni of 69, 50, 51, and 79 presented scholarships on behalf of their class. Sergeant Sean Bryant and Matthew Gosian also recognized anyone going into the National Guard or Marines. Sarah Bain presented scholarships to Delilah Wallace, Kate Peasley, Caitlin Shadle, and Kaylee Bach for entering into a medical field. Afterwards, Mrs. Lumley presented Red Cord Awards for Blood Donor Distinction or Blood Drive Coordination. Mrs. McIntyre then presented a number of awards including Silver Cord, presented to students completing 40 or more hours of community service each year of high school. The BHS Music Department later presented Music Department Awards for Excellence in a Musical Field. There are many other awards and scholarships presented for a variety of other things to help students with their life outside of high school. Congratulations to seniors and best of luck on whatever you're moving on to. This has been Katherine Pollard from Boom TV. On Wednesday, May 9th, the boys tennis team hosted the district meet. The boys came out strong, looking to reclaim the district championship. Boom TV sports reporter Morgan Smith has more on this recap. On Wednesday, May 9th, Boone hosts a district tennis where six of our own Boone Torors took to the court. Number two doubles Jackson Smith and Jimmy Bowsted played first against Hampton. They won both sets 6-1 to move into the second round. In round two, Smith and Bowsted played against Clark. In the first set, Clark won 6-1 to take an early lead. In set two, Smith and Bowsted battled back to win 6-2. Heading to the final set, it was a hard battle back and forth with long volleys. Smith and Bowsted pulled through with a 7-6 win. In semifinals round, Smith and Bowser had matched up against Ballard's number one double team. It was a hard-fought match back and forth, but Ballard won the first set 6-3 and the second set 6-4. Smith and Bowser took third in doubles. Boone's number one double team, Mason Holson, and Clover and Waffle got a bye first round. In round two, Holson and Waffle matched up against Sadell. The first set went by fast 6-0 and Holson and Waffle carried the momentum into the second set, winning 6-0 again. In the semifinal round, Holson and Waffle played against Ballard's number two doubles team, Wilson Waffle won the first set 6-1 and the second set 
In the championship, Holson Waffle battled against Ballard's number one double team. Holson Waffle battled in a tight set going into the seventh game. Holson Waffle won the first set 7 6. They took care of business in the second set, winning 6 2. Going into the singles, first round, Cody Frame matched up against Thomas Spies from South Harlan. Frame made quick business to Spies and took both sets 6 0 6 0. Round two, Frame won up against Alex England from Iowa Falls. It was a hard match, but Frame pulled through first set 7 5. Frame carried first set in the second set and won 6 4. In the semifinal round, Frame matches up against Peter Wilkosak, number one seed from Sado. Wilkosak took a quick lead, taking the first set 6 3. Wilkosak finished off Frame, taking the second set 6 2. Cody Frame took third in singles. This has been Morgan Smith from Boone TV Sports. The BHS baseball team is ready to hit the field, looking to come back better than ever. I have more on this preview. The Boone High Toro baseball team is returning off a great season last year. Going all the way to the substate game, losing to Bondurant Ferrard 4-2, and they're looking to build off last season with a large group of seniors returning. Coach Eason has some high goals for this season. You know, as I look through our, our player goal sheets and uh, uh, things that I wanted our guys to, to jot down, um, you know, it, it, we all want to win a conference championship. Uh, we also want to qualify for the state tournament. Those are definitely things in terms of wins and losses that we want to achieve this season uh, as a team. But uh, more importantly than that, we want to come together as a team, learn how to battle through adversity, and uh, learn how to be good people in the process of, of playing baseball. This year, there's a large group of returning seniors, and Coach Eastland wants the underclassmen to learn from the seniors. You know, we got a lot of seniors coming back, and they'll learn a lot from our upperclassmen guys who've been around here for uh, two years. And we have a large senior class coming back. And uh, for those guys, they need to be there and, and watch and learn what they do, pick up the good things that they do, and, uh, and do what's asked of them as well. And uh, for those guys just coming out here and working hard every single day and showing that they belong and working hard to earn a spot is uh, all we ask of those guys. In the 2015 baseball season, the Boone Baseball started saying DOORS is an acronym and our standards that the baseball players live by. DOORS is something that uh, we started using with our players uh, in the 2015 season. And for us, we break out of our huddle um, before each game, after each game, um, after weights, and, and we say DOORS. And DOORS to us is you know, doing your best for the team, out hustling our opponents, respecting the game, servant leadership, sacrifice for the team. Um, that, that's what it means in the acronym, but uh, more importantly, it's about being good people as well, being good teammates, being good friends. Um, you know, it's the things that are going to make uh, these guys good employees someday, good bosses someday, good husbands and good fathers uh, in the future. And so, you know, for some of these guys, they're only going to play, you know, 40 more baseball games this summer, and that's going to be it. So um, this is more than just baseball to us. Uh, this is life, and uh, Doors is a, it's a good way to live. In the game of baseball, you have many challenges. You go to practice day in and day out, and you'll grow on and off the field. In the game of baseball, there's a lot of failure. You know, we're going to strike out. We're going to make errors. We're going to lose some games. Um, the biggest thing is, how do we handle failure? Um, you know, do we sulk? Do we pout? Or are we ready for the next pitch? And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a tough game mentally. It's a tough game physically. Uh, being able to go out there and... Uh, and uh, learn from mistakes and, and know that there's going to be another pitch um, it is important for our guys to come out and be successful. This has been Morgan Smith from Boone TV Sports. Boone TV's Anna Olson is back this week with her thoughts on a hot button school policy. Here's the latest installment of What's the Deal? Hello Boone High, I am Anna Olson. Have you ever witnessed something to make you wonder, what's the deal? This week, I will be giving you my opinion on our school's hat policy. There has been a lot of confusion and controversy over our school's hat policy. Or not hat policy? At one point, Boone High students wore these accessories around the school freely. Whether it's winter hats or ball caps, we had our right to express ourselves through our clothing. Now we have been stripped of that freedom yet again. So Boonheim, what's the deal with the hat policy? I believe that it's a very outdated policy that's based off respect, but I believe that students respect their teachers with or without a hat. I don't wear hats, so I don't care. I think people should be able to wear hats because if they just want to, they should be able to. 
Well, I totally agree with the no wearing hats policy. Hats are dumb and anyone who likes hats are dumb. Okay, at Boone High, we should be able to wear hats so I can cover my greasy hair. <laughs> Overall, I believe that the hat policy is bogus. Some say it's concerning that students can't be identified by cameras, but many people still can be identified by the clothes they wear and their body type. Plus, hats aren't masks. You can still see their face. Also, there is no way they can be that big of a distraction in class unless students are wearing sombreros or something. Boone High, don't take our basic right away to wear hats. And that's all I have to say about that. Treat me with your thoughts. See you next time on What's the Deal? A highly anticipated Marvel movie has been released, and your favorite movie reviewers have everything you need to know. Here are Boone TV's Brian Bingaman and Maggie Muller, here with the latest installment of Two Doors. There was an idea to bring together a group of remarkable people to see if we could become something more. So when they needed us, we could fight the battles that they never could. Hello, Boone High. I'm Brian Bingo Man. And I'm Mr. Kramer. And today, we will be reviewing the highly anticipated Marvel movie, Infinity War. Marvel's Infinity War is about a main antagonist named Thanos, who is set out to get all five Infinity Stones so he can wipe out half of existence. The Avengers, Guardians of the Galaxy, and other characters must help stop him at all costs. Are they any match for the two stones he already has? I enjoyed the movie a lot. I loved the pacing and the action scenes were amazing. The main antagonist, unlike Justice League, was a great part of the story and all characters in the movie were fairly balanced for this fight. The extra villains also added a great flavor to the movie. I also really enjoyed the comedic atmosphere that came with all these heroes coming together. Because I have no negatives about the story, I am prepared to give this movie a 10 out of 10. You even somewhat sympathize with the villain. It's just an all around great balanced solid movie. While I agree with many of the points that Brian brought up and feel that the movie was very good, I would argue that it isn't great. As is the nature of comic book movies, the dramatic tension that Infinity War tries to build is undercut by the genre itself and the knowledge that none of the deaths will be permanent. This lack of gravity takes some moments from the film that would be edge of your seat and makes them the emotional equivalent of vanilla ice cream. It's pleasant, but I'm not going to write home about it. Overall though, Infinity War is a great summer popcorn flick that is fun while it lasted, but really is just a precursor of something more that will most likely render these moments fairly meaningless. I'd give it an 8 out of 10. That was our review of Infinity War. I'd like to say that I've had a fun time doing these reviews for you and I'm glad that only one of them, <coughs> Happy Death Day, was a complete garbage fire movie. This has been Bingo Man and Mr. Kramer from Boone TV. Have a great summer, Boone High. Thanks for joining us on this week's news show. We'll be back next week with all of the latest of Buzz at BHS. In the meantime, please head over to BoonTV.com to check out all of our latest videos and written stories. While there, don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And now from all of us at Boon TV, make sure you stay safe, stay cool, and have a great week, Boon High. <laughs>